If we ever need to transfer files to or from our Linux server to a Windows machine, we can use the tool in Packet SMB Server to stand up an SMB server, or Server Message Block Server, which makes file transfer super easy with Windows. Here on my Kali machine, we see I'm in the home Kali video directory, where a secret.txt file exists. We can run this command, sudo mpacket smb server, and then the name of the share we want to create. In this case, I'll call it Kali, dash smb2 support to support smb version 2, and then the directory we want to share, in this case, home Kali video. Optionally, you could also set a username and password to authenticate to the smb server by using the dash user and dash password flags. But once we hit enter, we see that our mpacket smb server is stood up, and then over on my Windows 10 machine, we can open up a command prompt. We can map a local drive to our Linux SMB share by using the command net use, and then the drive letter we want to use. In my case, I'll use the letter K. And we do two slashes and then the IP address of our Linux server, in my case, 10.0.3.4. If you decided to set up user authentication, you would specify the username and password by doing a slash user, a colon, and then the username space the password. If you see command completed successfully, then our K drive should be mapped to the SMB share that we created. And we can check this by going to File Explorer, this PC, and our network location of Kali, and we'll have that secret.txt file on there that was on our SMB share. And we could easily transfer this file to our local Windows system or transfer files from our local Windows system to that Kali share by just dragging and dropping. If you only have command line access, we could easily just go to the K drive by doing a K colon. And from here, you could copy files to and from the SMB share using the copy command like this. So if we wanted to copy secret.txt from the share to our local desktop, we would do copy secret.txt and then see users windows desktop and we'll notice that secret.txt got put onto our desktop.